Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. This is a Chris Vector, but this is the nine millimeter pistol Chris Vector. This is also a Chris Vector. But this one is chambered in 10 millimeter, not why you clicked on the video. This is why you clicked on the video. This is the new Chris Vector 22LR. Let's get into the video. There's been talk about a 22LR Chris Vector for a couple of years now. You're gonna to have to excuse me, you may can see a little bit of snow in the background. For Tennessee, it is cold today. We're wind chill is in single digits, but, um, Chris Vector is, uh, I guess, officially releasing the 22LR version of their platform at SHOT Show of 2020. I've had this rifle for a couple of weeks, been putting it through its paces, and at this point, I'm over a thousand rounds on this rifle. Anytime I get any new firearm, I want to test it whether it's accurate, uh, reliable, and how cost effective is it you know for the most part i've been very very pleased with the reliability i was on a podcast the other day with gun funny and uh they were asking how uh reliable it was because let's be honest if a rimfire is not reliable you know it, it doesn't serve a purpose to me and at that point i was 700 rounds into the firearm without a malfunction after i get off the podcast i go outside and the first shot I had a malfunction so but since then i put about another 300 rounds through it without another malfunction so only one malfunction in over a thousand rounds that's pretty good let's talk about some of the features on the chris vector 22 lr now this is the rifle model they also make a pistol version it comes with a 16 inch threaded barrel half by 28 it comes with a six position uh rear stock here m4 style stock which is really cool the uh, safety is just like you would find on your other Chris Vectors, okay? This 22 lr is to mimic the exact center fire big brother of the Chris Vector. Your side charging handle here is on the left-hand side is non-reciprocating. Uh, your bolt release is right here. Your magazine release is right there, just like the other Chris Vectors. Chris has been out for several years and I've fallen in love with them uh, the first time I shot one full auto. And if you ever get a chance to shoot a Chris Vector full auto, go do it. The rate of fire is crazy. And with their Super V recoil mitigation system, it helps keep the recoil down on the Vector. So this will reduce muzzle climb and improve your accuracy upon follow-up shots. Unlike their center fire big brothers, the 22 LR Chris Vector operates on a blowback design. It does have an aluminum handrail and it has M locks all over it. So if you want to put six apricots right here on the handrail, you can do it. It has a pick rail that runs the entire system and it does come with some flip up battle sights. It's hard to draw a fine bead. I am a precision shooter, so this will get the job done, but I opt to put a Crimson Trace. This is the CTS 1000 red dot. It's a two MOA red dot and it does really great for the long distance shots on a 22 or any other kind of rifle or a pistol. The two MOA is perfect for that. You can draw a really fine bead and it does have 10 different brightness settings. Another good thing about this optic is it is full co-witness. So if my battery runs down, I can flip up the rear and front sight and I can co-witness through this optic. All right, now I've got some CCI mini mags in here. I have tried high velocity, standard velocity, low velocity, but let's do some more shooting. All right, those were 40 grain mini mags. Let's try some standard velocity here. Right here, 40 grain CCI standard velocity. And let's go out to 100 yards. Perfect, runs like a top. After shooting this Vector over a thousand rounds, I have yet to clean it and it's still running great, even though I'm shooting it suppressed. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's getting pretty dirty inside the chamber in there and it definitely does need to be cleaned out, but it's still running. You're probably asking yourself, why a 22 LR Chris Vector? Well, Chris Vectors, they can run between 1200 and also all the way up to like $2,500. To a lot of people, that's out of their price range. A lot of people love the platform and would love to own a Chris Vector, but they're unwilling to spend 15, 18, or even $2,000 on a center fire model. 
This little guy right here is going to MSRP for about $649. Saying that, real world price, you're probably going to be able to pick them up at your local gun stores for probably around $550 to $590. So if you want to own a Chris Vector, to a lot of you now, it's in your reach. One thing that we do need to discuss are their magazines. Now, they are proprietary magazines, okay? These are Chris magazines and they hold 10 rounds. They do have a first round load assist right here on the corner so when you're loading that first round you can press the button in and load the first round after that loading the rounds into the magazine is pretty easy they are coming out with a 30 round magazine for this model i don't have one yet but for right now we just have the 10 rounders all right let's finish the video out with a little bit more shooting i've got 10 rounds here of cci standard velocity All right, now this is what's cool. Since the barrel is threaded half by 28 and CCI has come out with some, um, this is called their CCI Quiet Semi-Auto. This is firing around 835 feet per second. Listen how quiet this is. I'm just gonna shoot the dirt. <laughs> that is quieter than a pellet rifle. That is like crazy quiet and it cycles it just fine. Let's go out to 100 but it takes a while for it to get there at 100 yards. <laughs> that is a fun setup. Guys, if you're looking to finally owning a Chris Vector, and for years uh, they've been out of your reach because of the price range, if you want to own a 22 LR, you can probably pick these guys up for probably about 590 bucks. That's what I'm guessing. When they first hit the stores, they're gonna be a little bit more expensive uh, than later on down through the years. But as time goes by, you should be able to pick them up for probably about 575. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any other questions about the Vector, put them in the comments below or go over to my Facebook page, Instagram page, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep blinking. Mm -hmm.